Hey, what's up, church family? Uh, for those of you who I haven't met, my name is James, my wife Cody, and I pastor at our Cabot campus. And uh, we're just so thankful to Pastor Rick and Michelle. We've actually just celebrated being a part of the New Life Church vision and family for 15 years, and we love it. I want to thank you for hanging out with, with us today for another rendition of NLC Live. <laughs> at these devotionals and just studying the word together. And as we've been doing that, we've been asking these questions. Is there a promise to claim? Is there a sin to avoid, a command to obey, an application to make, or something new about God that we can learn? And so I want to look at this verse in Psalm chapter 9. In verse 9, it says this, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed a stronghold in times of trouble. Now, if I was just being honest, when I first read this verse, I was like, that's a really short verse and it's kind of self-explanatory. But then a couple days ago, I was meeting with someone and we were just talking about their life. We were talking about some things that they had gone through, some very difficult, um, hurtful seasons of their life that they had to walk through. But even as we were talking, it was physically difficult for them to even communicate what had happened. And they expressed how difficult it was to be weak, to admit that they were weak. And, and, I, and then I thought about this verse in relation to that. Uh, first of all, it says that God is a refuge. But here's the thing. A refuge is a place you choose to go to. God will never force you to go to him as, as your refuge. You have to choose that. But I also love this word stronghold in this verse because when I think of the word stronghold, I think about like medieval castles. And the stronghold was the most protected and fortified place of the entire castle. A lot of times it was behind multiple layers of walls. And I love this picture because when you see God as your stronghold and you go to him as your stronghold, then even if you are weak, even if you are feeling oppressed, even if you do feel like you're at the end of your rope and you just have nothing left to give, when you're in that place of weakness, when you know who your stronghold is, then you can stand confidently and even declare your weakness because you know that even though you're weak, you know how strong the one is that you stand with. And I just wanna encourage you and challenge you with that today. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know the difficulty you're facing, but I think that this is an incredible promise from God, that if we will go to him as our refuge, that he will be our stronghold. And in our weakness, we know his power is made perfect. So let's just pray through this. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for this verse. I pray for every person that's listening to this right now. I don't know everything that's going on, but you know every intimate detail of everything that they're facing. And I pray that when we face difficult times, we face things that hurt us, that hurt our hearts, that hurt our spirit, God, we would choose to go to you as our refuge. God, that we would declare over our lives so that our own ears can hear it, so that the enemy can hear it, that we're going to choose to trust in you as our stronghold. And God, we know that as we declare our weakness, like your word says, you're gonna be strong. That's when your power is made perfect. Thank you, God, that we can trust you to go to you, to be our refuge and to be our stronghold. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.